Why did your marriage fail? Obviously, <sighs> you all separated and remained friends. But why, why essentially did it end, do you think? I think when you marry young, you run the risk, as, and, and the risk that we ran into, that you grow in different ways and in different directions. Um, I was completely consumed with work when I started as a DA in Manhattan, and I really wasn't paying attention to him. Um, I take full responsibility for that part of the end. But he also, as he explained to me at one time, at the end of our marriage, actually after, that he began to fear not being as successful as I. Wow. And he's a very generous man, mm -hmm. and he said it to me in a very kind and loving way. But he said, you know, when we were in high school and you were doing so well, right. I just kept thinking, it's because she works at it. And when I decide to work harder at it, I'll be just as successful. And he said, one day I woke up realizing that no matter how hard I worked, I might not be as successful as you. Whoa. And that led me to think, does she really need me? Whoa. And it was a difficult issue for him to discuss with me and a hard one for me to hear. Mm. I loved him and I knew he loved me. But did I need him in the way that he wanted me to need him? Mm -hmm. He was probably right that I didn't. Not in that way mm -hmm. of feeling that I couldn't live without him. So next question, how does one date when one is a supreme court justice? I have no idea because I haven't been able to <laughs> since I started. I was gonna, how does one date? <laughs> Talk about intimidating. Good Lord. I worry about that, let me tell you. Uh, okay. I haven't had the time since I was uh, nominated and confirmed, because I've been sort of completely inundated in my, or, yes. or drowning in my work. But at some point, I'll pick up my head and say it's time to date again. When I do that, you're gonna have to find the guy for me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get in line with a long list of women. That's right. I know, I get, know. get behind me, Justice. <laughs> <laughs> get behind you me. can be next. <laughs> do you and the justices hang out? <laughs> do justices hang? <laughs> well, I guess we don't uh, go to a local bar on Friday nights <laughs> and, and drink the night away. Um, but. We spend a lot of time during the work week together. Mm -hmm. Not only are we in court all the time, we have lunch all the time together. Um, and occasionally we play cards together. So, wow. uh, you know, yes, we do hang out just in a quieter way. Ju judges hang. Is this the most fun you've ever had, being a oh. judge on the Supreme Court? Is it everything you imagined it to be? No. No? No. Um, I loved my life as a district court and circuit court judge. Mm. There, I could be more me. Mm -hmm. You could go dancing and take off your shoes if you wanted and to. And nobody took pictures. Yes. OK? Um, and nobody cared. Yes. And um, I loved my work then. Mm -hmm. I had a freedom that when you become a justice, you're deprived of. Really? And that's not to suggest I'm unhappy. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful life. And I'm doing things I never imagined. I'm very, very grateful. But you asked me a particular question. Is it the most fun you've ever had? And the answer, truthfully, is not really. Not really. The life I gave up was the most fun I ever had.